So this is the purpose of this video is to show you uh, behavior of roof rats, their real behavior, and also show you the difference between females like this one and males. I got three males on me and that little girl still not sure she wants to go to me. Yeah. So that's a female. There you go. And these are males. So you can see I've got a few cages here. Oh yeah. And this one. Here's a few cages. Um, we have a few rats living in my office. Um, that's Jimmy. Hey Jimmy. Um, yeah, got a few girls there. That big fat boy is BB. Um, that one is Latte. Um, I forget what what is her name again. <laughs> oh, darn, I'm so bad with names. Um, I'll let you know later. I'll put in the comments. Um, that is uh, uh, her and her uh, her and her daughter. Um, I swear, I they do have names. Um, I just. I don't know, I'm having a senior moment, you know. Um, so, I mean, generally speaking, um, the boys tend to be more brave uh, than the girls because they're bigger. Yeah, that's Chung. I, I had, uh, you know, like called her on my Alexa. Um, She's uh, in the rat house right now. Uh, so that that black guy there, he's he's a little bit young and not as friendly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you see, they don't. They're not huge fans of loud noises. Yeah. There's Latte. Latte is pretty friendly. No, don't nibble. You can tell uh, Jimmy because uh, when he was younger, some bad rat nibbled his tail. Yeah, that's sort of their little passive aggressive, uh, you know, behavior that they like to do. Um, they don't like to. They don't like to fight. You know, like one-on-one -on -one because they might get hurt so like they kind of like little ninjas you know if they want to be bad to another rat they just kind of run behind the rat and uh, nibble the tail you know, it's not much the rat can do you know so he ends up getting the nibbled tail which I'm sure must be very upsetting to them um, yeah so you'll find you find a lot of roof rats that that were in a cage with some grumpy cage mate might have a little bit nibbled tail. Um, yeah, that sucks. That's one of the drawbacks of rat society, a roof rat society. Anyway, hey, I don't know what you you think you're trying to do there, Jimmy. It doesn't look safe. Well, okay. So, those are like dog biscuits, um, it's a peanut butter one, and a pumpkin flavored one, um, which they can, uh, you know, grab and nibble on when they feel like it. Um, they've got other treats and snacks, um, you know, bamboo sticks, uh, some other dog biscuits, there's uh, like, yeah, I should probably replace that. That's like a, a milk, dry, some stick made of dried yak milk, I guess. Uh, there's like some dried yam in there someplace. Uh, looks like they, these guys, the ones in this cage, ate up all the treats. I don't see any treats in there. I should give them some bamboo though. Probably need some of that. Um, this would normally be uh, uh, BB1 and uh, and Jimmy's cage, 
and um, and then there's like a, a young black rat and uh, and no no uh, sorry Latin and BB one and and uh, Jimmy and that young black rat live in here plus the two girls um, whose names I don't remember so for some reason I can't remember their names now oh, Sandy that's right Sandy the uh, the the mom is Sandy and her daughter's in there too. Um, so Sandy's kind of friendly, you know. But look, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, the boys are always going to be friendlier than the girls, really. A lot of people want to get girls as pets, but in my experience, um, you know, I mean, look, I I have a cage here. Uh, every day when I'm working. I leave it open. The rats can choose to come out and interact with, with me or not. And, uh, you know, the boys are just more outgoing and, and uh, friendly. Like that little black girl, I've been trying forever to get her to be my buddy. She don't, don't want it. I mean, Sandy's kind of friendly. Sandy, come here, you. Come here, can you be my friend? Huh? Can you, please? Yeah, no. And I mean, this is that's just the reality. You know, if you get if you get a female roof rat, um, you're gonna understand you. What? What? You try to nibble me? You gotta understand they're not gonna be as outgoing and friendly as a male. Just in general. I mean, I know Sandy. Sandy's friendly. You know, she's not scared of me or anything. She just doesn't feel compelled, you know, to be my buddy. Um, yeah. So Latte is very interested in Sandy right now because Sandy's a girl. And Sandy doesn't normally live in Latte's cage. So he's like, oh, that's interesting. Got a girl there. Of course, he knows Sandy. He's, he's seen her before. But I don't know, maybe he doesn't remember. So I see there's another, the other girl. Oh no, that's the boy, that's the young boy. Okay, so who do we have here? It looks like Sandy's daughter and Sandy. Uh, that looks like uh, BB1, no, is it? No, that's Jimmy, sorry. Jimmy, BB1's there, Latte's there. Then the little black girl is at the back there. She comes out, um, but she's she doesn't want to play with me. If I try to play with her, I'm sure she'd run away. So like Sandy, I put my hand out. She'll sniff me, but she doesn't run up my arm. Now if I put my hand out to one of these guys, there you go, right? There you go, there you go. That's the difference between a boy and a girl. Okay, there's... Sandy, come here, Sandy. Come on, Sandy. Come on, Sandy. No, see? So, what should I? Oh, that was Sandy's. No, that was Sandy. See? He, he, he wants to go to me. So, you know, do I conclude from that that Sandy is somehow less tame? No. Genetically, they're all going to be very similar. At this point, after all these generations, uh, Sandy is a is a friendly female. Jimmy is a friendly male. But when you talk about male versus female, you know. So I mean, the propensity is, if you will, for males to be more brave, outgoing, and friendly than females. And you can see that with this group. I mean, Sandy would have to be like twice as friendly inherently than Jimmy or Latte or whatever for her to act as friendly as they do. Just because of the difference in sex. And if you look at the difference in size and strength and all of that, and I mean, you can kind of see why. Um, Males don't feel they have to be afraid of anything. 
you know, at least a, a, a normal male like this. You know, a full-grown adult male roof rat, they're not afraid of me. They don't have any reason to be. Um, but they're not afraid of me just because they're males and they're big. Um, so that's just their personality. I guess the te testosterone talking or something. I don't know. Females are more cautious. Especially if they... I mean, Sandy's had one litter. Now, I imagine after a couple more litters, she might become more brave and more outgoing. But she won't necessarily be more friendly than a male would be, even at that age. Um, you know, I could get her, you know, to be more friendly with me if I, like, picked her up and held her for a while. And then the other thing is, um, males are more food orientated. So if I had a nut and I called, uh, you came over to the cage and called them, I'm sure one of the males is more likely to come out and try to grab that nut than a female. You know, they just always feel hungry for some reason. Now, when the female is pregnant, she will uh, most likely overcome that to some extent because being pregnant means she's going to be more hungry um, and more wanting uh, more nutrient-rich or nutrient-dense foods. So things like almonds and stuff would then be more attractive to her so she'll be more interested in coming to me at that point. And for that reason, it's often the case that females that have had uh, multiple litters with us where we've been, you know, giving them treats and stuff like that, um, they, they kind of remember that, you know, that we helped them out and were nice to them when they needed us, you know, when they're nursing and all of that. So they'll, they'll tend to be friendlier from then on. Um, whereas the males are almost, you might even say they're kind of born friendly to some extent. Um, yeah. So I hope this, uh, kind of gives you some idea um, of the difference between the two sexes. Um, this is, uh, this is really important if you want to get a pet from us. A lot of people will insist that they want to have a female, and that's okay. We often have, um, you know, retired, uh, you know, females that have already had babies with us, like a couple, three litters, and they can be good pets. But if you want to get a young rat, I really don't suggest you get females, you know, at this point, unless you're very experienced with, with roof rats. I mean, obviously, we have a lot of young females, you know, we take care of them. They obviously, you know, can... Uh, interact with us and we can handle them but to somebody who doesn't who isn't committed to having rats you know roof rats isn't experienced with them isn't patient enough to put up with rats that may not I mean you saw what Sandy was doing you know I put my hand out she did not climb up my arm um, if that was your pet you might say oh that's no good um, I don't want to have a pet like that. I want to have a pet like this. You know, okay, you, you you're trying to prove me wrong? Okay, now, you, now you're going to be like that, huh? Well, fine. All right, let's see what you're going to do. Come here. That's Sandy. No. Okay, there's Jimmy. Right? Okay. Well, Latte didn't feel it at that moment. I mean, I can, you know, if I, if I kept trying... I kept trying. At some point, she's just she's just more hesitant, but she will. There you go. There you go. Right? Okay. First few times she said no. If if that was your pet, and you you know you want you want your pet to respond to you immediately. You know you want to be you want to try to be friends with that pet, and put your hand out and have the pet. 
you know, accept you and be your friend right away. You don't want to be rejected time and time again. I understand that. Okay? You know, if I didn't keep roof rats, um, you know, like for years, and I didn't know what they were like, and I had a rat like that that I kept trying to, you know, hold my hand out and she never went up my arm, I'd feel bad. I, I wouldn't understand. Why is this rat rejecting me? Um, but now, you see, now she's gone up my arm several times. It takes a little while for them to open up. Now, honestly, Sandy is not one of the rats um, that we, you know, normally keep or that I normally keep here. Um, she hasn't been here as long as Latte. Jimmy's been here about as long as Sandy. But now that Sandy's gotten used to climbing up my arm, I imagine she'll probably keep doing it. Now she's on my arm. You can't see her, but she is. She's on my shoulder. So is Jimmy. There she goes back again. Okay. So you gotta ask yourself, if you really feel you must have a female, are you willing to take an older one that we know has already been uh, socialized and is okay with being handled and even so are you willing to accept that that rat will be more shy and probably not as friendly and food motivated as a male rat would be you get a male rat I can almost guarantee you get one from us I can almost guarantee that rat's going to be friendly he is going to be your your friend Almost from the day that you get him, maybe even from the day. And his personality is not going to change that much. So whatever you see him acting like when you visit us, that's how he's going to be, you know, for as long as you have him. Whereas the female rats, when we're holding them, they're going to seem friendly. When you take them home, they're going to be like, hang on, I don't know who you are. I'm not, you know, I'm a little bit shy. I am a little bit cautious. And then you're going to have to do some work to win her over, and they, you may not ever be able to do it. Like I said, that little black rat that's in there, I'm telling you, you know, she's been here in this office for more than a month. She won't let me handle her. She's not friendly. I like her because I like her mom, I like her father. I know she has potential, but she ain't showing it. And if that was your rat, you would probably say, this is a wild rat, this is not a friendly animal, this cannot be a good pet. You know, I don't want it. You're not gonna be willing to, you know, put up with that kind of behavior from your pet. And I understand that. You get a pet because you want it to be your friend. You know? And if she's not being your friend, well, that's not a good pet. I get it. No judgment. I'm just telling you like it is. If that's what you want, get a male. Especially get an adult male. You get, look, if you were to come here and adopt Jimmy, assuming that I'd let you, Take him home. I promise you that rat is going to be your buddy. You're going to love him. You're going to be like, man, roof rats are the best pets ever. I can't believe it. When you get that little black rat on the other hand, you're going to be like, roof rats are terrible pets. Why would anybody want one? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now. Wow, this is this is great. So I got Sandy to kind of be my buddy, but look, yeah, she's still like going up my arm. She was going up my arm. What's the matter with you? You change your mind? You change your mind? Hmm? Yeah, you can't force it. If I force her, she's never gonna want to go up my arm. She'll be afraid of me. You know, that's another mistake people make. They're like. Hey, you're my pet, you're supposed to be my friend. And they, tr they like force the animal, you know, chase after it, try to drag it out of its cage, whatever. And they're like, my rat has bitten me so many times. Well, I could make that rat bite me. 
I probably couldn't make Jenny bite me, but I could make Sandy bite me, I'm sure of it. If I really tried. But yeah, she's friendly, but she's friendly on her terms. See, see she's looking for me. There you go. There you go, buddy. See that? See? She's friendly on her terms. All right. You think you own her, but she she feels that she is a uh, autonomous creature that has its own opinions and ideas and preferences, and you cannot you cannot impose your wishes on her. You could only make her hate you and resent you if you do that. Listen, I gotta go. This has been a long video. I, if you've gotten to the end of this video, I applaud you. I, you know, I'm trying to be uh, honest and let you guys see what these rats are like. I, I want all of them to have good homes at some point. The ones that we can't keep anymore because we have too many and we're not going to breed that one or whatever. But we don't want you to adopt a rat from us that you're not going to be happy with. And that happens all too often. That happens all the time. You know? And mostly it's because people get babies or females. And we have so many nice males that are available for adoption. Like they would be the best pets you could ever want. And people don't want to adopt them. So they end up getting a pet that they're not happy with. And that's not helpful for anybody. That's not a good outcome. Okay, well, see you guys later. Now yeah, look at that little muppet. I love these guys. They can be good pets. Seriously. But for the right people. And choose the right rat that suits you. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye rats.